The Fujifilm GFX 100S is a stunning camera that delivers exceptional image quality and performance in relatively compact body. As a successor to the GFX 100, this camera packs a range of advanced features and improvement that elevates it to the top of its class. Now, at the heart of this camera is a 102 million pixel sensor that captures stunning detailed and dynamic range. This sensor is paired with the Fuji's Advanced X Image 4 processor, which enables for fast and responsive performance, as well as the ability to shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. The camera body itself is designed to be lightweight and portable to make it easy to shoot on locations and travel with. Despite the compact size, the GFX 100S is rugged build and weather sealed, ensuring that it can withstand even the toughest conditions. One of the standout features of this camera is its autofocus system, which utilizes face detection autofocus point across the entire image. This results in an accurate autofocus and even shooting moving subjects. Another noticeable feature of this camera is the in-body image stabilization, which helps to minimize camera shakes and produces sharp images, especially in low light situations. Additionally, the GFX 100S includes a tilting LCD touchscreen and a high resolution electronic viewfinder, providing a variety of options for composing and reviewing your images. Overall, the GFX 100S is a top-of-the-line camera that delivers exceptional image quality and performance in a compact and portable body. While it may not be the most affordable camera on the market, its range of advanced features and superior image quality makes it an excellent choice for professional photographers and serious enthusiasts. But after all of this, unfortunately, I'll have to let this camera go. I have owned this camera for just about four months. And within that four months, I have loved this camera to bits. Unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where I hardly use it. And so I'll have to let it go to good use in a good home. So this is my little overview of this camera after owning it for four months. And again, it has to go. So what replaces this camera, as my previous video said, I was torn between in holding onto this camera or holding onto the X-H2S. Already, just giving you a hint, the X-H2S is gone. And unfortunately, as I said, this is also going. Now the question is, what is my next camera? Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and let's see where we'll move on to next. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.